You've got the sunshine back. This is a live look outside right now at the Longfellow Bridge, the city skyline, and it is totally cloud free. Now we've got cooling temperatures over the next couple of days. Winter solstice is tomorrow at about 1030 in the evening, which means the new season officially kicks off tomorrow. We do not have a white Christmas in the forecast this year. In fact, I don't have any rain or snow in the forecast until probably day eight of our seven day forecast, meaning the whole seven day forecast is dry. Temperature 31 degrees right now. The air is dry, which is why dew points are in the 20s. I'd love to see the weather from your window. I'm working to get in a great picture that Leonard just sent me from Natick of Cody the dog enjoying the sunshine this morning. That's going to be coming up in the next hour, but you can see highs today. We've got a lot of lower 40s and we've got a lot of sunshine in the mix. Today is going to be a pleasant day just a little bit seasonably cool. Overnight tonight, we're going to fall back into the 20s in most towns and cities, and from there, we do not have much of a warm up tomorrow. Tomorrow, temperatures will be stuck in the 30s, everybody. The problem is it's going to be quite windy on top of that. I've got sustained winds 15 to 25. I've got some gusts up to about 35 miles per hour strongest along the coast and the Cape. This isn't wind strong enough to do any additional damage, but it is going to contribute to just a really chilly forecast. So that's what I want to make sure is on your radar coming up this week. First things first, the bitter wind chills on tap for tomorrow. You can see all day wind chills are going to be in the 20s. We start with wind chills in the lower 20s this morning. Highs, uh, wind chills will end up in the upper 20s come afternoon. It's going to be chilly and cold out there. Now, river flooding is likely through about Thursday or Friday of this week. Most of the rivers seeing some pockets of minor river flooding, but this is um, from the heavy rain that we had back on Monday and something that we're still dealing with. Now the next storm is about a week away. I don't know why it keeps going back to this one. The next storm is about a week away, but the track that we're seeing right now favors a warmer track and it means just plain rain again next Wednesday. It looks like it could be heavy rain. We'll keep you posted, but our seven